It's your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through, man, and just kicking it with your boy and checking out the video. Today gonna be like a chill little vlog. We picked up some new um, fish for the fish room, some that I've been wanting to pick up for some time, and then one that I seen today, and I was like, I can't pass these guys up. It's a nice little breeding pair of some fish that I want to start breeding in the fish room, and you guys will be able to see those here in a second, but. It's been a minute since I filmed down here in the fish room. We've been doing stuff outside or different projects or talking about the pond. So we're gonna be doing a cool little update video on all the tanks. We got some good things, some bad things. Things is always changing down here in the fish room. Um, and I got a lot of new plans going forward, and a lot of new fish that you guys haven't even seen yet. So I actually, I'm gonna show you guys these fish that I got sent to me probably like three weeks ago. I got them in an aquarium. So I'll give you guys an update on that today. But first, let's uh, take a look at some of these uh, new fish. Which one we want to start with? We'll just start with these uh, these guys right here. So right here we got some a trio of some red emperors, African cichlids. You can see that male looking good already. Nice color on him. Um, now it's very common fish, but. The males are stunning. And I've been wanting to pick up a trio of these and try breeding them. So I got these guys today. I think I paid like $25 for a trio. That's not bad actually for a trio. So they're gonna be quarantining down here in this uh, 20 gallon until they ready to go into a different tank. And then we'll probably set them up in one of these 40 breeders because I got a lot of babies. I've been moving fish outside. It's a lot of stuff that you guys haven't seen. I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes to improve um my fish keeping and my fish room to make things more efficient so i'll try to give you guys an update on everything here soon but these next fish now when i seen these dudes i was like yeah i gotta get these guys nice little breeding pair i should have bought the whole tank that's what i should have did because they have a bunch of them up in there but we got us a nice little pair of black angels as you can see in this male right here look at that nuka hump on dude just a huge little nuka hump on him. Here's the female right here. So we get a good shot of her. So I've seen these guys being pretty much the most dominant pair in the aquarium. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and get these guys. And we're gonna try to really get into breeding these angel fish. Um, I've done it by accident, but never really focused on angel fish breeding. So I wanna really start focusing on different breedings and breeding a lot of different fish just to build my numbers back up because we have sold a lot of fish, a lot of things have changed. So I wanna get the number back up and start breeding fish. And that's what I love the most about the hobby is breeding the fish, is taking care of the fish and, and just watching them do what they do in their natural habitats. That is what inspires me about the fish keeping. So I'm gonna let them guys acclimate for a few minutes that we'll get them in. But while they acclimate, I'm gonna show you guys these new fish that I got a little while back. And they looking good in this tank. Let's check this out. So if you guys remember, I had set this planet aquarium up probably about three weeks ago. And we went ahead and put some new fish in here. As you can see, we got our beautiful little betta in here. Looking great. There's also some shrimp in here as well, but I'm sure they hide somewhere. And as you can see, we got us some new fish back here. These are some albino cabenses. We got about six of these guys in here. They were sent to me by one of the subscribers. Um, shout out to him, he sent me these fish and they're doing really good up in this aquarium. See one coming out in the front right here. It's a fast little fish. But yeah, we got a nice little bed in here with our cabenses. And then I still want to add in some rummy nose tetras or some neons or maybe both. We might do neons and rummy nose up in here. But these little cabinsies, all they do is just hide up in the rocks. So that's what cabinsies do anyway. They're more of like a rock dwelling, cave dwelling type of fish. But you can see them back there hanging out. About six of them up in here. But this tank is coming together. Really enjoy it. I want to do a lot more planted aquariums down here. They just look so much better to me. And the plants are doing really good. You can see this boost is getting a lot of new growth. Oh, they're one of the shrimp right here. One little cherry shrimp hanging out. All our crypts is growing some new leaves. 
everything is doing really good i've been dosing this aquarium probably like once a week and uh, it's doing really good so far all those Kerbinchies back there hanging out but just want to give you guys an update on this so we're gonna go ahead and get these uh fish into their aquarium and then once i get everybody in there i give you guys a closer look on everything guys looking good though Oh yeah, they looking good up in here. What fish are you guys breeding right now? Let me know in the comment section what's your favorite fish that you're breeding or anything new that you done bought for your aquariums. I'm curious to see what type of fish you guys keep because I keep a variety of everything from the monsters down to the small guppies and nano fish, but um, I really enjoy breeding every type of fish. As you see, there's a tank back there all the way back. That 55 back there, we're going to be setting that up in the video. Um, clean all the calcium off that, show you guys how to do that. Nice, black, beautiful female. Looking great. If I do a lot of plop and drop, um, for the people that's new to fish keeping. And leave me uh, some suggestions down below as far as like breeding angels. I mean, I know the basics when it comes to feeding, breeding angel fish, but uh, if you have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comment section as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, because we don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. So it's always nice to hear other people's suggestions on how they breed their fish and how they take care of their fish. So let me know in the comment section. So we finally got the fish into their aquarium. And as you see, look at this beautiful male right here. Already starting to show some color. The females in here hiding right now. Everybody still got to get adjusted to this new tank, but I'm sure in the next few videos, you guys will see more of them. And we definitely about to start breeding these guys and I'll bring you guys along the journey of breeding these fish because they definitely some dope fish very common but a lot of people just don't know what they are so um, a lot of people don't really like to buy them because they don't show no colors take them a really long time to start showing colors especially the males but hopefully they do really well in my aquarium i can't wait to see them grow look at the puffer down here <laughs> over here we got the angels look at that male right there with that nuka hump on him just looking phenomenal got this nice little female i put the little piece of slate in here so hopefully these guys will get comfortable in the next few weeks or so and they can start breeding for me that'd be nice uh, i'm gonna get the temperature up on this aquarium check the ph and hopefully we can get these guys in the right situation to start breeding like i said if anybody got any suggestions on how to breed angelfish and any tips and tricks just let me know in the comment section and if you got any information on these red empress i know there's a lot of african cichlid uh, keepers and breeders that watch my channel make sure you guys give me uh some information on those as well but everything else down here in the fish room was doing good next video i'll give you guys an update on all the tanks and what's going on so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because it's always new stuff changing and growing down here in the fish room but that's gonna be pretty much it and i'll catch you guys in the next video make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'm out of here.